today, Jordy and I are gonna show you guys how to make slow cooker refried beans. They are really easy, they're delicious, they are healthy, much better than the canned version. You just have to cook them all day on low, um, so it's not like it's a quick recipe, but uh, it makes a big batch, so it should last you a while, and here's the ingredients you're gonna need. Two cups of dry pinto beans, six cups of water, you need one onion. Unfortunately, I just realized that Jared used up the onion that we had, so we just have a little bit of one left. So I'm gonna have to work with that. Maybe I'll add some onion powder or minced onion or something like that, I don't know yet. But you're gonna need also need half of a fresh jalapeno or any hot pepper. I'm gonna use some from our garden. They're pretty small, so I might use both of them. You're gonna need two cloves of garlic, minced. It calls for one big pinch of cumin, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and the recipe calls for three-fourths teaspoon of salt, but I've made this many times, and I like to add extra salt, because I think it makes it taste better, so I use one and a fourth teaspoon salt. And so yeah, all, you're gonna, all I'm gonna do is chop up my jalapeno and mince the garlic, and chop up the, no wait, you don't chop up the onion. You're supposed to just use one big onion and peel it and cut it in half, and you can just stick it in there like that because after it's cooked all day, you're gonna remove the onion and drain the liquid out, and so you don't, it's just in there for flavor. So I'm just gonna add the onion in whole like that. But I'll get to chopping that up now. All right, I've got all the ingredients in the crock pot, the water, the beans, jalapeno, garlic, onion, salt, pepper, and cumin. I'm just gonna stir it and then put the lid on and cook it on high all day. It says to cook on high for eight hours. So that's all there is to it. It's gonna be yummy. Right, Jordy. Hi. All right, now it is 5 p.m. They've been cooking on high all day. They smell delicious and I tasted them. They taste good. So I'm, what I'm gonna do now is remove the big onion chuck onion chunks and then I'm going to drain the beans but I'm gonna do it over a bowl so that I can save the juice because then I put the beans back in here I mash them up and then uh, put some of the liquid back in with them to get the rack consistency that I want there's the beans I got them drained there's all the juice now I'm gonna take a potato masher and just mash them all up and then after that I'll just Stir them, mix in some of the juice until it's the consistency that I want. And it will be all done and ready for our tostadas. And there they are, they're all finished. I think, I didn't measure it, but I probably added at the most a half a cup of the juice back in there. Because they are pretty dry if you don't add any of the juice back. Um, and I'll probably keep that around until we're completely done with dinner, just in case I need to add more, in case they dry out anymore. But yeah, that's homemade refried beans, you guys. I love Mexican food more than anything. I love me some beans, and these are much healthier than buying the store-bought canned refried beans, and yep. So there you go. Let me know if you guys have ever tried this recipe. I'll post it below, or if you try it out. And thank you for watching.